Hello, and we are back with Dr. Paul Griffin, who is the Director of Infectious Diseases here at MITRE Hospital. And today I'm going to be asking you a few questions about virus mutations and what is a virus. So let's start there. What is a virus? Great. Thanks for having me. Look, a virus is a really basic kind of a germ. So it's a really simple organism, but unfortunately what they're really good at doing is, is infecting people and being passed on from one to another. So people probably are familiar with lots of different viruses, the flu and um, common cold are good examples of respiratory viruses. And, and COVID is a, um, not a new family of virus. We've had uh, coronaviruses for a very long period of time, but obviously the, the virus that causes COVID-19, we call SARS-CoV-2, uh, has only been around for a few years. And the big challenge with that virus is that it probably has just the right mix of properties to cause the problems that we're seeing. It's very infectious and easily transmissible, but it also is capable of causing severe disease. So we see both high numbers of cases, but also lots of people getting really sick. And that's why we need people to understand that we need them to take action to reduce their risk and the risk of people around them. And we're lucky to have great vaccines and therapies now that go a very long way of doing that. Thank you. And is there a particular way a virus is created uh, or what causes a virus? Yeah, look, they're, they're ancient things. They've been around for a very long time. But one thing viruses do is they change spontaneously all the time. So in humans, our cells reproduce. If they make a mistake, we're really good at fixing that and we get rid of those broken ones or those those ones with mistakes in it. With viruses, they can't fix those mistakes. So they change constantly. So the way a new virus like SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, comes around, it probably had ancestors around for a very long time and just kept changing till one day it by accident had the properties that we see now in that it can infect humans, it can be passed from human to human and causes disease in humans. So that's purely a spontaneous change, but, but one that obviously has given rise to, to something that's a huge problem for us. And uh, I know you've probably answered this question already, but what is a virus mutation? So, yeah, so these viruses reproduce and they make lots of mistakes. And most of the time, those mistakes lead to a virus that, that isn't very good and just goes away. But sometimes by a sheer accident, it can actually give it beneficial properties from a virus's point of view. And the main thing we've seen with, uh, with SARS-CoV-2 or the COVID-19 virus is if it makes it more infectious by changing the bit on the surface of the virus that it attaches to our cells with, then that can take over and basically outcompete the, the other ones that were less infectious. And a lot of people then assume that it's gonna be milder in severity, but in fact, the severity is again, a, a random chance sort of a thing. So while we've seen it get a bit less severe, particularly as we go from Delta to Omicron, it actually, doesn't mean it's gonna fade away to nothing. So that's why we can't assume it's just gonna be a common cold and we can ignore it. We need to still take very, um, very simple steps, but very uh, specific steps to try and keep control of this virus. Thank you, Dr. Griffin. Thank you.